preparations are underway to move the Seoul Ho to dry land, a step necessary to allow the team to carry out thorough investigations inside the vessel. According to our Kim ji they are trying to expedite the process because unfavorable weather conditions loom. The Ministry of Oceans and Fisheries and the head of a special committee overseeing the search and investigation of the ill-fated Cerro Ferry say they're pursuing all possible ways to speed up the final preparations to safely transport the vessel on dry land by Friday. Salvage operations were delayed a day due to obstacles in the drainage process. Water and mud inside the ship has put extra weight that has made it difficult to move the vessel onto transporters, so workers have been drilling holes on the side of the ship to drain the mud and water. Workers are also looking into bringing in 24 additional modular transporters to help carry the vessel, putting the total number of modular transporters at 480. The extra modular transporters could eliminate the need to drill more holes into the ferry, which could damage the vessel and the process. The challenge now is to complete the transfer operation by Friday, as rain and high tide reaching up to 3.8 meters are expected in the southern coast that could delay the operation for another two weeks. Bad weather conditions could also slow down the operation conducted on the ocean floor, such as pulling up anchors and mooring lines, and put the modular transporters in place. But if they do manage to get things done on schedule, safety inspections and operations to wash away pollutants will be conducted so that personnel and machinery could be deployed to monitor the inside of the vessel while it is laid down sideways. The vessel will not be brought upright or be torn apart to find the remains of the passengers who are still unaccounted for due to risks that it could collapse due to the erosion of the vessel and because it could hinder the investigation to find the main cause that led the ferry to sink three years ago. Kim Jian, Arirang News.